I really don't understand that meme, but I want to know what the fuck song that is, because it's really creepy. Hello and welcome to another exciting yet fucked up episode of Token Games Podcast. I'm your host and sometimes referee, Zach Pearson, and today I'm joined by a longtime legend that no one's seen in a while. The 100% truth speaker, the fact slayer, a one Mr. Zeno120. That's me. What's up? And of course, we have our returning champion of fucked up shit, the long-running hiatus that has finally come to a true end. I give to you the gift of verbal chaos, Pikamitsu. The name of the most trending gamer according to the Game Awards is Doctor, Doctor, Doctor. Dis. Respect. Spec. And as per usual, a statement that somehow confuses the shit out of me. But then again, if he didn't do it, he wouldn't be Pikamitsu. And of course, we have our returning reigning champion of laughter from the other gender, Raven. Hello. Drinking coffee, having a good time. All right. Which... Brings us to our next uh, facilitator of justice, the one man who needs no shield, yet speaks volumes for the police force. A one officer, sergeant, first lieutenant, cops. I don't speak to the police. I'm just part of them. Hey, what's up? That's his actual last name while you're sitting there laughing. That's his literal last name. What is? Cops. Cops. Oh God. <laughs> and my dad's retired cop. Literally, yep. And literally, the first thing I ever put on his wild is, oh shit, it's the cops run. Ah, I'll never forget that. That hat was pretty cool, too. Anyways, and of course, we have the eternal poison and thorn in my rectal cavity. The one true black hole force in this world that no matter how high I rise, no how matter how happy I am, can just pull me the fuck out of joy and bring me down to her level. The one who rules nothing yet rules them all. Crow. What? Fun fact, Crow is actually the first female person we ever had on the podcast, but people don't really realize that because she constantly changes her names, which I put a stop to this day. So if the voice sounds familiar for the point three of you who actually go through the podcast, it's because, yes, it's the same person, except, you know, oh. with 199% less Val Morris. Anyways. All right. So, uh, yeah. Guide us out our way, Captain Fart Bubbles Pearson. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck that is. But anyways. OK, so the TGA 2017 happened last night for those of you who don't want to know or didn't catch it which is all of you. The Game Awards 2017 happened. However, it was not necessarily a TV event. It was live broadcast through various forms of social media that are popular among the young people and also the gaming consciousness. Twitch, YouTube, it was there. PlayStation Live, it was there, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so first and foremost, um, I'm curious, what did you guys want to see there that you didn't see? What let you down as far as you know? You know, if you're going to eat or choose something, you should probably set it to push to talk. Just saying. No. Of course, just just spite me to spite me. For the sake of spiting me, because who else would you be if you didn't want to pimp my ride? Yo, dog, I spite you to spite you just so I can spite you. Anyways. What let you down, or what was you most waiting to see at the Game Awards show that wasn't there? And I'm going to start with you, officer, because that'll give everyone else time to ramble through that link I put in to see if there's something cool they like. Well, honestly, there's not a whole lot for me that uh, I wanted that I was looking forward to, but the expectations are set a bit low. Damn. <laughs> in this day and age. Shots least. fired. Shots fucking fired. Particularly with the uh, presence of shitty companies like EA, Ubisoft, and Konami. By the way, fuck Konami. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of Ubisoft. <clears throat> Lots of people like the Ubisoft. But yeah, I didn't really have much in the way of expectation. So 
there wasn't much that I wanted to see more of, at least, you know, that I thought would actually be there. Okay, fair enough. Well, since I know pretty much nobody saw it except for me an officer, don't worry about these questions being dragged out too long. And you're allowed to say pass on the TGA questions if you don't know or you can't figure shit out for yourself. And I'm not going to hold it against you or anything. Um, well, for me, the most disappointing thing, well, it was so disappointing, I just may cry. There was no mention or, you know, confirmation because everyone okay. knows Capcom is full of snitches on Devil May Cry 5. Because I was kind of sort of looking forward to that. Because, well, they've been working on the game so goddamn long. And they think it's a secret, but no one's keeping it, including the actors working on the goddamn thing. But, other than that, nothing else truly let me down. Not because I had low expect lowered expectations, because <laughs> I've been watching these things pretty much since the inception. But because I know and understand that... These things aren't necessarily the best place to show shit off. And in fact, depending on the year, it doesn't really boost you up promotional rise. And they're not and people aren't really there to promote necessarily as just get their acclaim for something they've already made. So if they've something that they've already made, you know, you're not gonna really show a trailer for it. You're gonna show a snippet before you give the award away. Same with the movies and the movie uh the movie um fucking conventions or events that they do. The movie award shows and shit like that. Yeah. Sorry, brain fart. Um, oh. Fuck you. Anyways, all right. So uh, let's just move on to uh, the next couple of things. All right. Now, as far as announcements go, or you know, things similar to announcements go, uh, we got our first look at Soul Calibur Six, and it was <laughs> it was a bit of a what I like to call a, bi a polarizing experience. And this is where it was going to lead into our second question. All right, so the Soul Calibur trailer, which I'm going to link you guys to, so y'all can go ahead and watch it. It's really short. Just make sure Soul you Soul know, Calibur you know, analysis. Just make sure you have your volume down, which I forgot to do just now. Like, it's yeah. not even a whole two fucking minutes. Now, the reason it's being called quote-unquote polarizing is because it's basically... Besides not showing or explaining anything new, it also has the damning effect of not really showing off anything to let us notate anything about it, other than there may be a new type of character, not necessarily a guest character, that uses a double saber. And no, it's not a, a, a Jedi person. Their weapon is entirely metal. Now, we don't know who this person is, and I don't think we're really supposed to, obviously. But the problem with the trailer is basically that it didn't even really show a full fight sequence at all. And it spent more time telling you, hey, sorry for the wait slash delay. We're back with certain implications of how the narration was handled. So let me just ask you guys. You're producing a game on its 20th anniversary and your first trailer doesn't even really show off or explain any new mechanics and doesn't even show a full or complete fight and is using dramatic stuff that isn't even really going to be included necessarily in the game without any true explanation. Do you think that in a situation like this, there should have been more flash or there should have been more substance? By which I mean, do you think the trailer is fine the way it is or do you think they should have actually gone into some fucking detail? And I'm going to start with you, Crow. I just saw that and I feel like I wasted my goddamn <clears throat> Well, I, I, at least she's honest. Okay, so okay. what do you think? The thing about Soul Calibur is that every time they do it, they try to up it, they try to make it more unique, they try to add new mechanics in. But after playing Soul Calibur since the first Soul Calibur, nice. they have started to fall really flat. It's like they're trying so damn hard. Okay, okay. I call it a I roller a coaster reference. franchise. No, 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 no. It's not even that. It's a it's a roller coaster that lost its damn tracks and is just pummeling down. The whole fact of the matter is, I love Soul Calibur. But this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, like after three, it's everything just, is a letdown, a legitimate letdown. I played through them all, and you know what? I'm sorry, three was my favorite. I'm still mad at the rest. I just, I don't have any interest in it anymore. That It doesn't look very good, because knowing them, they either added a new mechanic of some bullcrap caliber, <laughs> unintended, or... Well, I'll or speak on that later. Or they just left it like... 
they just left it the same way or added some slight changes. But other than that, they haven't changed up their franchise pretty much the past few years. All right. Well, let me ask you, what do they have to do to get your dollar back? Besides, you know, bring back the fun stuff. Or well, really, I guess that's just it. What's the fun stuff they have to bring back to get your dollar? Dude, I don't even got at this point. They've lost my dollar. I mean, the games have been a huge letdown for a while. So, Sonic the Hedgehog effect. Gotcha. Fair enough. All right, who else didn't watch the trailer since I dropped it in? Uh, it I looks pretty. The trailer last night. Okay, cool. All right, Pika, your turn. Not enough uh, substance or not enough flash? I'm going to say because of the sheer history of the last two Soul Calibers falling flat, Ooh. not enough substance. Gotcha. They need to bring us back in. They've made us wait so long for number six. And the soul still They need burns. to show a little bit more. They need to show us, okay, we're not going to fucking rip basically all the fun single-player content out of the game. Um, we're not going to fuck up multiplayer, like, net lag issues. We're going to show you what we got. And also, as a little side thing, I'm just wondering how much of Ivy's titties we're actually going to see in this game. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good one. I need to know that one, too. I mean, bar if it's barely showing nipple, that'd be great. Yeah, it's, it's like just barely coming. Like she's going to have those little fucking tassels. Yeah. Like tassels that spin. Yeah, tassels and, and just a G-string. And when you turn just the camera spin. just a little bit, you get a little side peek. That'd be... Yeah. Mm -hmm. just, and she's got blades attached to the tassels or something. Yes! Titty swirl of death. New characters <laughs> are going to get in as well. Yeah. And if, if they do a uh, multi-console uh, release... Wonder what guest characters as well, but I'm hyped. Uh, Both of you are terrible fucking people. Facts. <laughs> they give mm. her more clothes the more games that they have in the series. Yeah, and that kind of breaks my heart. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I'm uh, sorry. I'm a female who enjoys looking at other females. It's okay. It's okay. That's not the right. fuck, that's not it's the, okay. That's not I love the women. goddamn problem. Uh, I don't have a problem. You have a problem. Yeah, it's called Crow. That's my problem. <laughs> Fascinating. Anyways. Alright, so what do they have to do to get your dollar, Mr. Coleman? What do they have to do to get my dollar? Okay, bring back good, a very long and good titties. single player. Yeah, very long, good single player content, um, solid multiplayer, and just like bring back a boatload of like costumes. Like I love like unlocking costume pieces and whatever, and like making like people look how I wanted. I like doing that. So bring that back. Give the people some more custom ability. Because everybody loves custom ability nowadays. That's it? Mm hmm. Uh oh. Wow, that you was said a I bit, couldn't uh... take titty, so oh, I, I, I didn't say it. Well, I, I guess I'm glad I put to, pulled that one off yeah. the table. I oh, wait, 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 wait. One more thing, one more thing. Don't make me if regret they can it. Somehow, they, if they can somehow bring back, like, an of legal age talum, that would be nice. <laughs> Yeah, no. actually, that is weird because the whole entire franchise, everyone got aged up or they kicked them out for no reason other than Japan logic. So if you're a woman and you're over 30, ew, you can't be in a game where you can't be important, dumb shit. And Talum is just the one character who shouldn't be missing, missing, not to mention her entire play style was gone from five. Like, it was legitimately gone. There was no time for users at all. I love Anyway, so, yeah. Uh, okay, well, I'm assuming everyone's seen the trailer by now because, like I said, it, it's as, it's as sh long as a heartbeat. Uh, how you feeling, officer? What they got to do? Or well, better yet, starting off with um, more flash or more substance? Well, more substance. My opinions are pretty much the same <clears throat> as uh, Pika's because really... They need a more of 
content for the single player campaign and uh or you know all that single player store and all that and well yeah there was a very distinct lack of characters that played like talent she was pretty unique ish ish <laughs> don't don't get him started please two things Why? you don't two things <laughs> you yes, don't it's... two things you don't make him say or think about is and, ish uh, and trombe at... override <laughs> And you mentioned the other one, how uh, amusing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, after how honestly flat last two games fell, they're gonna need you know to put more effort into this instead of just going, "Oh hi, it's Soul Caliber, here you go," and expect people to just jump, jump for joy and hitch their pants. Surprise. No. No. <clears throat> no one's going to bother doing that anymore. Not after you release two bad games in a row. People so, uh, enjoy? <laughs> so, yeah. Get your act together and release a decent game. It can't be hard to put in more effort. It really can't be. You say that. You think that, but this is Japan we're talking about. This is the company, uh, sorry, this is the country that thought that, quite literally, Pokemon was not going to take over the world. Remember that. And then it did. Uh huh. And Nintendo still can't buy them. That's the funny part. <coughs> People keep forgetting Nintendo does not actually own a Game Freak. Nope, they or, don't. Or rather, the Pokemon company, but same thing. But yeah, that's why I say I'm thanks. Okay, now what do they have to do to get your dollar, Mr. Officer? Release a decent game? I know it sounds like I'm asking something so simple. Or maybe ask something too much, but eh, whatever. Release a decent game. Love of God. We can hear you zipping your leather pants. Anyways, okay. Mr. Zeno, lay it on us. Too much style or not enough substance? Um, uh, I guess it's more or less the same as everybody else. Um, I, I just want them to put um, Sora as a main, uh, playable character. Yep. I'm going to kill you in your sleep. <laughs> Fuck you, what? you piece of shit. You only said that because you heard me say in the fucking chat they better not make a Kingdom Hearts character the guest character. Sora's going to be a PlayStation exclusive and Riku's going to be an Xbox exclusive. I'm going to what? kill him. No, no he's, he's fucking with us because he wants to fuck with me. He's been hanging around the Crow and Raven too much. No, he hasn't. False. That's lies. That's too the many character, Corvids. man. We would be at fucking Taco Tuesday if that were the case. You know what? Let's just Taco not... T- th- don't don't oh, bring up Taco, Taco. Tuesday, uh, Shut the fuck up about goddamn tacos. I hate y'all. Anyone who's uh, Michigan, yeah. we need to go get tacos ASAP right now. Taco Tuesday. I know just the place. No, you don't. <laughs> I sure do. No, the fuck you don't. You don't live in Michigan. Mm, I sure don't. Facts. <laughs> All yes. right, all right, Holland. Uh, what they gotta do to get your dollar? Um, I don't really buy Soul Calibur games. I, I'm, yeah. I'm really inconsistent with Soul Calibur games, so I just see I, I don't really know. Fair enough. Fair enough. Super fair. All right, Senorita Raven, what's your stance on the trailer? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I didn't weird. watch it. It's in the chat and it's less than two. It's like less than a minute, 30 seconds. I know, but I might be playing Destiny right now. We mean might be. <laughs> we know you're playing Destiny. Discord tells us you're playing Destiny. Yeah. Yes, it does. The Discord does not lie. Discord on my phone. It don't tell anybody what I play anymore. It tells us you're on speaker. 
Anyway. I don't understand why you can't ride everything in Horizon. <laughs> Just because they didn't animate it. I guess. I want to be able to ride one of those fine things. Anyways, let's get back on non-Horizon topics. All right, so that just leaves me. Uh, I think they were trying to hide new gameplay mechanics. Can you not do that in the mic, please? I think they were trying to hide new gameplay mechanics by quick cuts and quick edits. But unfortunately, instead of people trying to sit there and discuss and divulge it, which is, you know, there's also those dedicated YouTubers who are going to break down this one minute trailer in like a 20 minute damn near video about, oh, I yeah. see what they did there. Those guys, they're going to happen. In fact, I'm, I'm going to go find one right the fuck now. Oh, look, that took me a whole whopping, what, eight seconds? Bam. And it's almost 20 minutes, just like I said. All right, anyways, I think they didn't want to show or tell us what they were going to do. But the problem is, that's exactly what the fuck they should have did. My problem with this trailer is, there is enough substance, but it's not explained. So it comes off with the same effect as having nothing but flash. No one can tell how shit's supposed to work or go, because all you did was show them, you know, the pretty parts. Everyone knows what a stripper's job is. But do you know if the stripper has daddy issues? Do you know if she's okay. crazy? Yeah, there's actually a distinct way to actually tell, and I had no, no, uh, uh, week don't, don't, the uh, don't explain don't it here. Don't ask if you don't want to know. I didn't. Uh, no I one did. Know. No one I'm asked. I don't know, man. I'm not good tell. I'm not I don't good know. Tell. No, look, what I'm telling you is that you can type it, don't say it. I'm down to hear this. No, no, no. You're down to see it get typed. Is what you meant. I'm just saying they usually wear chokers with diamonds. Look, just saying. I somehow doubt it's that simple. But I'm not about to go and test that theory out. Anyways, look. Pikamitsu, you live in Saginaw. I dare you. Go to the VU, and the one who's got a big diamond, she has daddy issues. You can even ask her, and she'll be very honest with you that she has daddy issues. And that's why she's got four sugar daddies. Oh, Well, that, that escalated. Um, see, see what you did? This is entirely your fault. I'm sorry. Okay, so this Fucking damn it, blueberries. I love this part. This is the part where we're talking and she's somehow supposedly listening, but then she just sp spouts out random adjectives followed by a curse word. And for some reason, she says them at like the best times or she says them right when everyone gets quiet and it's fucking hilarious. Oh my God, I love this part. Anyways, all right, so for me, that's my biggest- I got biggest... a good one for you. No, not you, I meant Raven. Now, no, I meant her. When you get when it happens, say blueberry fuck muffins. It's great. It makes you laugh inside too. <laughs> what trying to do it? What, what Public event and these fucking dumb dumbs don't know how to do it to make it a heroic. <sighs> yes, because we all speak destiny. Anyways, okay. Yeah, I did the thing. All right, sorry. See what I mean? Oh. I, I told you it would happen. Whenever there's a dull quietness, she'll just say something that's just like funny as shit and not even actually have it make sense. I'm punching him in the dick with my titan. See? What? See? That's how you do it. Anyways. That's America. Fuck yeah. All right. So my problem is just that I can see that they had substance. The problem is they don't seem to realize that they should have explained it. But I recognize it could have just been the nature of the beast. They could have been told, hey, you got a set amount of time to show your gameplay trailer off in uh, the show. So don't go over it or we're going to cut your shit, bitch. You know, something like that. Now, as far as what they need to do to get my dollar. Well, first off, they need to go. Really? Was that necessary? I, sorry. I forgot. Anyways, they need to go to Disney <laughs> and they need to get a loan from Disney. Just enough to where they can make a time machine. And they need to go back to whenever they made fucking Soul Calibur 3. And they need to bitch slap everyone who thought it'd be a good idea to take all of the fun parts that everyone liked from Soul Calibur 2 out of it and leave it out of Soul Calibur 3. They need to go and combine 2 and 3, ironically, which equals 6. And then they need to take everything from this new version of Soul Calibur 2 plus 3. And they need to just... Update the graphics. 
They could honestly right now not invent any new mechanics. They could get rid of everything they came up with in four and fucking five. And if they just made Soul Calibur two plus three with some new guy who uses a double saber uh, blade, I don't even give a shit who the guest character is as long as they're not from Kingdom Hearts. And I'm good. In fact, there's a rumor it might be a Final Fantasy VII specific character, but that's iffy because, remember, they got fired from the Final Fantasy VII project. So, you know, just to be spiteful or as part of the deal, that character could, their character could have got removed. It's hard to say. Hard to say. Or hell, it could be Bayonetta for all we know. Shit. Holy fuck, I hope I'm not right. Anyways, so that's what they really got to do for me. All they really got to do is just sit on their fucking ass. Sit on their fucking ass and remember what but. people liked. Remember the people that they liked. And go and put all of them in the game. There is no excuse and no reason there should be any old characters missing. Uh, there's a rumor going around that they fixed Kalik because the fan backlash was a goddamn nightmare. Which, well, I hope is true. Because Kalik, if you don't remember, if you didn't play it, and if you didn't, I don't blame you. For some reason, in Soul Calibur V, they got the bright idea to make Kalik the fucking weapon master. Which means that you can't even use Kalik with his own weapon unless someone else has already picked that weapon. And even then, there's still a randomizer effect. So you never know what's going to happen when you pick weapon master Kalik. And you can't select the other form at all. Uh, Taki is completely removed from the game. She's not even fucking, her name isn't even said. Sean is removed. Talam, as we all mentioned earlier, is non-existent. Her entire playstyle has been wiped off the face of the earth. Who else got cut? Did Voldo get cut? I think Voldo. He better have not. No, no, Master Voldo. Cod piece can never be cut. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna <laughs> touch that one, but Voldo got cut. But, of course, all the cut characters, you know, they're fused into Weapon Master. So, basically, it was a third of a game. And then the part that pisses me off is, a week after the game came out, they openly announced, oh, yeah, it's, incom it's, in, it's an incomplete game. They, they, had, we, they told us to rush the final last couple of months before we could perfect shit. The story mode starts in, like, the middle or the, or the third of itself. And then to top it off, they had a nerve to come out with like a fucking patch or DLC and a DLC or whatever is not even the missing characters. It's just some extra outfit bullshit. And a play style that imitates the uh, the uh, uh, the Tekken character Heihachi. That was it. Oh, hey, but it had Ezio from Soul Calibur, so oh, it's cool. Get it for the guest character. You mean from... Uh... Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, so, he's gonna bang all of the women. What? The yeah. F Ezio. <laughs> Shut up, Crow. Ezio. Yeah. Sure. Bang them. Shut up. I mean, at, he really look was. Look at your phone. Look at your phone. I need an honest critique. Is this one closer to my skin tone, please? And thank you. See, now I'm scared to look at my fucking phone. Which I, words I thought I'd never say, by the way. Hold on. Let me go get my phone because Crow wants me to. Oh, my. I have been on the look for the perfect shade of foundation for I don't know how long. And it has failed me every time. No, no, no. No, it hasn't. You've been looking in the wrong place. See, you've been looking in the makeup <laughs> section. You should have been in the drugstore. All you got to do is crush up some little white pills or get some cocaine. It'll match you. Oh wow! Okay. No, she's no, all she's really white. She's cost... really really white. I need to go to the costume store and get that white face paint. Oh, uh, now I remember. Weren't they putting uh, Noctis in um, Old Caliber? No, Tekken Seven. Se Tekken. That was. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. It was like, what the fuck? What the so, fuck? I remember was Noctis? You do not need all that shit on your eyelashes or uh, eyelids. I'm trying to become a drag queen. Leave me alone. Okay. You, you know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna touch that one. I, I'm. There you go. I'm, this image is going to haunt me. Anyways. Okay. Yeah, that's scary enough. I got another one that'll no, haunt you too. No. No. 
All right. Let's see. Where oh, is it? Fucking God. Why is it always a can of worms opens up when I'm not the one going hunting or fishing? It's a knife on my table. <sighs> Fascinating. Yeah. It's not supposed to be there. Anyways, also, uh, this is a completely and total random one. But this is a throwaway question, so uh, if anybody thinks they can answer it, Pikamitsu, uh, feel free to. Okay, so we finally got to see a new trailer, or rather a trailer that's longer than 40 seconds, for Hideo Kojima's new game called Death Stranding, which you know is going to come out supposedly sometime this millennium. Now, Death Stranding's trailer, which was entirely in CG, and the, I'm going to just give you the verbatim even though i dropped the link it's eight minutes i'm saving you from a what the fuck moment after a what the fuck moment okay so uh there's these guys who look like they're dressed up like astronauts or some type of scientists on an excavation or a dig they crash land on some place or in some area they're not supposed to be you you said dig and not dick yeah d-i-g motherfucker i'm hearing impaired i'm sorry yeah sure sure that's why you heard that I thought I did. I'm sorry. I'm all, I almost believe you. Anyways, okay. So, what ends up happening is uh, they're surrounded by an invisible enemy. And just to get away from it, one guy even kills another guy. And when he tries to kill himself because he got caught, he's interrupted by a giant alien humanoid figure that has no head and has an umbilical cord where its penis should be and is about, you know... <laughs> Five, 15 to 20 stories high. No, I'm not joking. This, yeah, yeah. So, hey, click the link. It's eight minutes, but it's fucking weird. Now these... Uh, so the then fight. these enemies go back to being invisible. And the guy who got, you know, pulled up into this monster thing throws a package at Norman Reedus's character. And the package is a will baby. It's a will baby in a glass jar and he's got his umbilical cord attached to him. And then Norman Reedus wakes up after this thing tried to kill him, finds out it didn't kill him. And the camera zooms into his throat and there's a baby in it. And it gives you the thumbs up sign, which was really hilarious, even though they probably didn't intend it. <laughs> and then it pans out of Norman Reedus' mouth and he throws up black goo. That has oh. like bugs in it. No, it's just black goo. <coughs> and just then you see the words bugs. Death Stranding. And then his character, Norman Reedus' character, immediately starts aging a little bit. So there's a bit of a speculation or rumor that, Norman, that a lot of time passes and Norman Reedus' character turns into uh, uh, Guillermo del Toro's character. Or what happens is, is that people are trying to protect this one child for years and years and years at a time. And you're just passing it along to different people at different points and intervals. It's really, really fucked up. But just based on what I said, what the fuck do y'all think this game could possibly even be about? And I'm going to start with Pika because he's going to make it hilarious and disturbing. Don't tell me we lost him. Damn it, Pika. I swear to God, if I have to text you, your Soul Calibur 5 playing ass even though that game sucks. I shall oh. summon him. Oh, Using no. he he said, rain dance on. magic. Rain dance magic. Oh, he's having yeah. technical issues, but he'll be right back after these messages. No, dude. <coughs> you yes, speak? Okay, Pika, you are you there now? Something happened to his mic. Hold uh... on, damn it. Hold on again. Okay, well, uh, while we're waiting, Zeno, what the fuck do you possibly think that Ho Ko Hideo Kojima's weird shit could be about? Um, does he do drugs? That's a I good question, that's... but no. Oh, well, then my, my um, answer is gone then, because I was going to say maybe he was on a trip, and he just made it out of nowhere. And everybody was like, oh, hey, this seems like a good idea, and didn't expect anything. So, they said, fuck it. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. Time for a peyote? Peyote? What the fuck is peyote? Look it up sometime. Let me see. Just they're, like, uh, they're, they're like 
think of them like mushrooms, only significantly more intense. And in olden days, the Native Americans would use them and go on a vision quest. Vision quest. Oh, so it's a really fucking strong hallucinogenic. Oh yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah. To put it lightly. You know. That was more of a you desert. You go to wonder. a different planet. <laughs> yes. Do you guys know from experience or not just kidding? No. No, no, you never kid with them. No. They either know from experience or they watched it happen. Okay, for one, that wasn't more of the Eastern tribes kind of thing. That was more of the Western tribes kind of thing. Like Oots and so on and so forth. She means tribes oh, yeah, near California and well, shit like that. Well, yeah. because they're regional areas in which it does grow. Yeah. Yes. What the Chippewa the just ate a crap ton of I don't remember, but now, maybe. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, yeah. Okay, God, thank God. Okay, but you heard us, right? Well, bits and pieces while I was trying to get this damn thing reconnected. No, I mean, as far as what the question was. About uh, Kojima's new game? Yeah, uh, I'm not saying you had to watch that eight-minute trailer, but just based on what I described, what the fuck do you think this shit is about? Frankly, I could give zero fucks moving along. Okay. Well, Holy fuck. Yeah. I mean, damn. I like that, that answer. That's, that was a that's good how one. much I care. Somebody really don't like Kojima. Okay. Uh, all right. Moving on. Officer, uh, you got anything for us? Well, Kojima, he's uh, he 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 must focus on making this because. Holy fuck, what the hell was that shit? Guy apparently ate a baby and then pukes up black liquid that's got bugs in it. What the fuck? And then Titans? I have no idea what the fuck is going on here. But I want to see what it turns into. Kojima, you have my attention. Now, use that attention wisely and don't disappoint us. Like hey. Konami disappointed us because fuck Konami. Anyway. Yeah, hey, you know what else disappointing? When Zeno doesn't put his shit on push to talk. Can you hear everything that's going on? Yes, yes. it sounded like someone was having sex during his question. <laughs> I thought he was watching porn. The yeah. What the, I'll play it. No. We I'll know what you're Hawaii. doing. We're telling you what it sounded like. Oh, my okay. God. Problem resolved. Hell Shit. All right. Uh, well, well, let me get. Let me just rip this Band-Aid off now. Crow, what could you possibly think is going on in Mr. Kojima's head right now? <sighs> let me sit down yeah. first. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Well, if it's not drug use, it's definitely some form of mental message. Some form of mental, like, art kind of thing, I think, is what's going on inside of his head to a game that ultimately will... You want to know what the fuck the story is because it's just so out there. That's just how humanity is. If something's way out there, we kind of want to know. So in a way, it's perfectly set up for people to get interested in because they want to know the story, no matter how fucked up it is. So people are going to play that game. However, it's kind of like shock value. Everybody wants to know. Who knows what's going to really happen? It could be really good. It could be really bad. But it is very shocking. Besides those facts, I won't play it because I'm already deranged enough. I'm done. Whee. Interesting. What the, what the fuck? Okay. When uh... you say I'm going to sit down, I'm going to give you the most rational explanation I actually can. It's when you're not sitting, I'll say something really ridiculous. Well, then I guess it's a good thing I to make a point usually to not clarify. Anyways, okay, uh, little Miss Wee, uh, wh wh what the fuck you think this acid trip is about, Raven? <clears throat> oh, shit. I can't, well, uh, I don't know. None of us do, that's the point. I don't know, what is it, like parasitic alien children feasting off of the human bodies to That's grow kind of and respawn their entire fucking race? 
I mean, no. how do we even know that, that time has actually passed and he's not just drained the life out of Norman Reedus to become more? <laughs> yeah, um, that's you joking, yeah. but that's and that's actually pretty fucking plausible for a plot. I didn't see the trailer or anything. I know nothing about this game. But oh, don't worry. I promise you, seeing the trailer, I promise you, that's not a big deal. Seeing the trailer, you won't learn much either. Except yeah. that it's eight minutes. It's got to be about some kind of like parasitic fucking, I don't know, alien race that could be like all hive mind and working together as a weird conglomerate to, who knows, maybe take over, take over a new planet. All we know is I that they can know. only sense us from sound or certain types of sound. Predator? Because when the <laughs> things are, when they're, they have a machine that warns them when the shit's close. And the first thing Norman Reedus says is, hey, stop breathing. And the thing goes right past them. Oh. Of course, it comes back and still fucks them up. But anyways, yeah, that's actually one of the best answers we're probably going to get. Yep. Okay. I did a thing. Okay, who hasn't gone? Me? Oh, shit. All right. Uh, being one of the few people that experienced this nightmare, I feel like there's two layers to this game. There's what Kojima thinks it's going to be about versus what he's making it look like it's going to be about. And unfortunately, these two things have fallen dramatically out of sync. That's how I feel. That sounds about right. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to touch that one. Anyways, so my... I, how to phrase this shit even? I think it may... There may have been some type of alien civil war. Or not uh, an alien versus alien war. Us versus them. But the thing is, is that... This game is starting after the war is over, and I think either A, we lost, or B, we're getting our asses kicked, and that baby is in some way, shape, or form the key to us winning. So for those of you who don't remember, because it was a long-ass time ago, or who haven't seen it, in the trailer right before this one that also featured um, the guy from the assassin guy from No Country from Old Man, there was a group of military people who were forming out of this black ink goo that was eating people alive and shit. And they they were hunting down Guillermo del Toro, who had this same baby in this little case that was alive, through a bridge. Now, they didn't find Guillermo, but they were fucking literally just going out of their way to just hunt Guillermo del Toro with a whole army. Oh shit, there he goes. Whoopsie. Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> okay, we're back. So, uh, what was the last thing y'all heard? Ding. Grr. Ring. Not asking you. Ding. I uh, was being honest, though. I don't know. You you just started to say something in that bit. Okay, I feel like the game... What the you game said is something a- about no, the guy from Country from Old Man or something? Yeah, oh, okay. So, yeah. The last trailer <laughs> before this one... The the assassin guy from No Country from Old Man whose name escapes me. Um the last trailer was him forming out of the same black ink goo that was killing people, telling his army to basically hunt down Guillermo del Toro, who's also holding this weird little baby thing inside of that glass orange bubble. So my whole speculation is that there was a war, or there is a war, we're losing or we lost the war. But this newborn infant or possible hybrid existence could be the potential key to us winning the fucking war. And everybody on the enemy side, the aliens, know about this thing. So they want to hunt it down and find it and either absorb it to make it do their bidding or just flat out kill it. Because it seems really suspicious that of all the things aliens could want from us, they want a fucking little baby? Nah, nah. There has to be something fucking special about that baby. Not to mention, in the new trailer, like I said, at near the end of it, it was living in fucking Norman Reedus' mouth. Ugh. That sounds like some acid trip kind of shit there. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of women who would love to be in Norman Reedus' mouth, but this was just weird. 
Oh my. Not me. Yes, you would. Anyways. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. All right, so. No, I wouldn't. You apparently don't know me. <clears throat> Moving on. To something that we all can actually have a comment on. All right, so. I know nobody realized it, realized it, but I just thought it was kind of funny and hilarious, but let's just get into it. So the current CEO and president of SCEA, that's Sony Computer Entertainment America, I mean Sony Computer Entertainment, or, what do I feel like that's you texting me? Because I'm right. Or uh, it was the president of Sony as a giant corporation, the current CEO stated that they now understand and see the switch as a threat. They didn't at first, but they do now. Because as it stands, the Switch has eclipsed both the x and the PlayStation 4 as far as sales and, sales and projected growth rates. So, what do you think this means from Sony? Or what do you think is gonna, Sony has to change in order to get that number one spot back? And before any of you say, hey, they need to just make a portable system. I'm going to bring up two things that you forgot about, PSP and the PS Vita. And since you made a noise, okay, Crow, you go first. I didn't make a noise. That was me. Oh, okay. Jerk. Other bird, lady, person, thing, you go first. What you think Sony got to do to actually get back on top, or rather, if you like them better, what you think x got to do to, you know, stomp out the Switch, which they're not able to do? I think we can start and say that when it comes to Xbox, and I mean, I, I don't own one. I'm not interested in owning one, but a lot of people, they prefer them. That's fine. But when they, you know, when they do get things right, don't get me wrong, they do it very well. Uh, however, they, it never, it doesn't last long because every time, like, they release, you know, their new console, and they're like, oh, it's so much better than the PlayStation. But for how long until we come out with PS5? And now with Nintendo, Nintendo's not even, like, an old contender or, you know, or someone out of the running, you know, when they, and again, when they do, when they put out a product, it, uh, it, you know, it's well beloved for the most part, but, you know, going over the past, God only knows how many fucking years, we've been dominated by Xbox and uh, PlayStation, which is fine, but when it comes to PlayStation, they have a tendency to get everything right and for longer. They, they tend to outlive for the most part, like any, like Xbox has to keep putting out consoles to keep up with Sony once Sony does put something out that does surpass it. You know, they're not stupid, but when it comes to, um, you know, the Switch, that's difficult. I don't own one, I've never played on one, but it absolutely has a demographic. You know, and huge mm -hmm. fans, people that got it, you know, for the Zelda game, and, you know, that's fine, go for it, have fun. But overall, ah, that's... That's difficult because even Sony was trying to do the whole thing like, oh, you have the little wand and you can do this and that. Now, that was more of like a creativity kind of idea, like an extra whatever apparatus or whatever the fuck it is, you know, to kind of contend with more um, creativity based things like with the Wii. Like, well, here's a remote and you can do fun things with it. It's like, OK, that's all well and good. But the Wii is the fucking Wii. Like they they've got that spades like good try but not so much so with sony going back to the drawing board i want to see what they're gonna do with the playstation 5 but uh i don't know i don't know because i mean you tend to see and it's, i don't know it's very difficult i'm not sure what they can do or what they will do but every time they come out you know even with the playstation 4 they came out some weird shit that you're like, who the fuck even thought of that? <laughs> so true. You know, like, who the hell is going to use that? But then, you know, years down the line, then you have, um, then you have, like, a uh, Nintendo coming out with shit that they did certain aspects better. I will totally give them that. But think of it this way. Uh, remember when the Nintendo 64 came out? That was massive. And they're like, oh, my God. And then GameCube, you know. Everyone was, you know, getting those over, say, you know, a PlayStation or an Xbox and all that other crap. Uh, not really. No, not really. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying not everybody. I, I'm not one of those people either. <laughs> I also say GameCube was... 
I never owned a GameCube. I had a Nintendo 64. I was very happy with it. Okay. So basically what happened was Nintendo said, you know what? Let's try to stomp out Sega completely. Let's be the strongest system on the market. So they made the 64. Then they learned that shit didn't matter because PlayStation kind of sort of whooped their ass and they really only had one feature that was better than theirs. And that was um, how they handled memory and also, you know, being on the disc. Which is where the whole entire you know world was going for the most part. Cartridge was not obsolete, but it was at a it was at a standstill. So you know how technology uh-huh. is technology upgrades don't do a standstill. So after that, they capitalized on that momentum with the PS2, and then again, Nintendo said, you know what? Let's be the powerhouse this time. Let's make it so we can give people a reason to make shit for us. But as we yeah. all know, because it was their problem literally up until the Switch. Nintendo is really, really bad at socializing as a company. So even though their system was that much more powerful, they almost all the games that did extremely well didn't do well on the in their GameCube versions. They did well on the Sony version, the Sony platform. And Nintendo, of course, they were the primary makers and sellers and profiteers on their own system from basically the Nintendo all the way up to the GameCube. However, on the Wii it was a little bit more balanced. But the problem with the Wii by that point in time is that they had did the exact opposite and you said, you know what, fuck all that power shit. And it technically worked. Then you get to the Wii U. We ain't even got to say it. We all fucking know. So theoretically, they learned over time that their strong suit was the portable market. No matter what happens, they stomp everybody in the portable market. So it was standing to reason just just from, 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 lo- from logically speaking, okay, the one thing yeah, I almost universally never fuck up except the Virtual Boy. I will not let Nintendo forget about the Virtual Boy. They they've always dominated. Yeah, the, uh, virtual, they actually the, uh, we don't you know. the, like we're too young to remember, and some people they just died off so quick. But Nintendo Game Boy actually beat out forty nine other competitors. Mm-hmm. They have a shit streak <laughs> of corpses littered on their wall above the fireplace. They beat 49 competing systems over time, or just about. And this does include, you know, remakes of older portable systems, because, hey, it still counts. So, why not just make your portable the fucking council? Now the biggest problem they got is, at what point in time is it okay to release a new dock that's going to be a giant upgrade graphic house power, power card system thing? Because let's be honest, even the way the dock is designed, even if you don't make a new one, you, they could easily put in a USB slash HDMI connector port and have a thick ass connectable graphic card that only works on the Switch. And that way we could, well, have the same situation with the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro. Except this time, they have choices in the premium. So, in, so instead of getting one system that does one thing, we get one system that you can make basically pull off a transformer and become more than meets the eye hell the thing even got the same color scheme as optimus goddamn prime Ooh. Dope. transformers come in for mm-hmm. that ass yeah sorry i didn't mean to take over your question but i had some insight on that you're totally fine then i got a mail delivery i got new shirts let me guess extra extra small <laughs> no yeah right i wish no they're from a uh, shark robot they're like random mistake t-shirts so they're gimmicky ship like on games and stuff let you know if you got anything cool 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 okay uh, uh Z- Zeno, go ahead horizon zero dawn boy my bad i was unmuting it um you don't remember the, the question, question, do you? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> you know you weren't paying attention. All right. No, I was. I just don't remember the question. The Switch has... Oh, been... yeah. You said, what can a PlayStation do to Or your better? preferred system do to stomp the Switch out now that it has become the market leader? Or do you think that they just need to bow down to Nintendo's mighty penis? Um... Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Um, Kingdom Hearts three. Is that a, is that a viable? Is that a viable answer? No. no. Oh 
found it viable. That's it. You realize you're talking too low for us to hear you, right? Crow. Yeah, uh, yeah, where are you? Okay. Well, um, like I told you, uh, when the podcast starts, yeah. or, <laughs> you know, when shit goes down, my shit's on silent vibrate. So just text me uh. in the Discord or in the Facebook. If you want to swing back by, that's perfectly fine because we we're, we're technically only on the second question. We just spent a lot of time filibustering. We started at one ten, but we got sidetracked a lot. We have a lot of people this time. Who the hell is he talking to? I'm talking to the guy that's always late, the one whose name you never remember. I don't remember anybody's name. See, I told you. So I remember Jess now because Jess is cool. You Yay! should No, you two don't you two don't become friends. We discussed this. Okay, don't tell me what to do. I'm gonna keep my ringer on and my notifications on. So when you're coming yeah, or call when you're, uh, you know, outside. Sick. I hate to tell you this, All right. but you ain't my daddy, and like fuck, I ever listened to my dad, so. <laughs> okay, first and foremost, you and I both know, you don't listen to pretty much anybody that has a penis. So, you saying that is basically like saying, hey, guess what? What? There's clouds in the sky. I listened to my grandpa before he died. You're still proving my point. What the fuck is that? <laughs> From China. Huh. I was happy. Uh, for those of you wondering Hello. what I'm freaking out about, uh, a picture of what I can only describe as Cthulhu Jr. It's just Bob entered from that. the, the Yeah, chat. I was going to say, God damn it, Zach. I know what Cthulhu it's is. I'm, sa- I'm, making a, I'm insulting it. Learn uh, about your Satanism, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> first off, I didn't even. I don't even. The only time I know about a Bahamut is a Bahamut, not a Baphomet. Ba- so Baphomet. Oh, I know they're two different oh. things, God damn it! I'm saying <laughs> that yeah, I don't know. About... Damn it, Zach. I'm saying I don't know what the fuck. A Bye, ba- Pika. Bye. Right. Farewell, Pika. Fortunate that you can join us for longer. Yeah, he's been having random life slash technical issues every time I want to get him on. So even though he's usually the mainstay, uh, he's unfortunately had to miss like five in a row, which is oh, rare for him because normally he's never missed a one. Like even at the, uh, you know, anniversary, Nick, uh, he like he had only missed one. So him missing it, sh- serious shit's going down. Yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, I don't actually know what the fuck a Baphomet is. So uh, shall we get back on topic? God damn you. No, one of you explain what a Baphomet is, because I'm actually curious. One of you. Hi. <laughs> okay, fine, Raven, what is a Baphomet? Is a, what? I was just about to explain that. Well, she made a noise. I'm assuming she <laughs> no, wanted to do oh, it. No, oh, no, I'm... Uh, I, that's a long story. Go ahead. You you explain it. I'm going to order tacos. Well, yes, oh Baphomet... What? Way stop, back in the day. Stop saying tacos. Is a term that was used by the Knights Templar Hello? to describe some I weird mean... idol or deity. Okay, that, uh, I switched to my tablet here. Basically, the Knights Templar were accused of worshiping this weird <laughs> idol and deity, this Baphomet thing. The Knights of what? Which, the Knights Templar. What are, yeah, I I know what like who okay, what they exactly were accused is of worshiping this idol like demon thing with a goat head. Uh-huh. <laughs> At least that's where it started. It's okay. basically a pagan idol. Yep. Pagan being that's... any type of religion that believes in elder mythical gods, right? Uh, paganism can be many things, so let's just leave it at that. One. Yeah, yeah I know, it's like, just I'm pagan. not a guy who believes in fucking Mars. Anything, anything considered paganism by you know any Christian sect of religion. That's well, yeah, uh, it's anything outside of you know. Pagan is any, 
pagan is anything outside of the Abrahamic. There you go. Yep. So Zeus and all them good guys. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh yeah. Um, Pretty much. Okay. Well then, shall we get back on topic? Well, yeah. Uh, I'm also not even sure what the fuck, what possessed her to do that. But that, yeah. Cool shirt. No, no. Don't encourage her. Anyway. Okay. So whose turn was it? Well, Zeno just finished. So. Uh, Pika. Uh. Pika, Pika was in the middle of saying something. No, I'm and... here. Oh, oh hi, Pika. Hi. Okay, just a refresher. The question is, now that Switch has become the market leader, even though it may not have, it does not have the exact same sales numbers, its projected growth rate and uh, usability and, you know, just natural review scores has pushed it to become a market leader. And before next year is over, it will be the official market leader. What do you think, insert your favorite system here that's currently on the market, basically Sony or Micro, what do you think they have to do in order to regain or gain dominance over the Switch? Okay, so the PS4, they tried to do something about it, and that was hitting the emergency Make a Final Fantasy VII Remake button. Unfortunately, that remake has taken longer then God knows We're what. We're probably going to not see it for another five years. Hey, shut up. It's Aww. not Kingdom Hearts. Oh, we're probably not. I mean, they're going to finish Fuck Kingdom God. Hearts first, and then they're going to move on to working on this uh, FF7 remake. You know how Square Enix works. One team doing everything. Even though there's like six. Which well, is yeah. sad, but true, really. So it's but, probably yeah, going to be about five years. But they, but they fucked it up. And then they also have Kingdom Hearts 3, which he said they're working on. And they've been working on it and working on it and working on it. And they've released, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. 2. 2.7 remix HD version, complete with Black Edition. And don't forget the Aqua mode. They have a yeah. version coming out with, like, all the games on it now. Shut up. Just yeah. Like, you have and, to and be don't, lying. You have don't, to don't be forget, lying. Don't forget no the Keyblade Dildo version. Women will love that one. <laughs> Would a keyblade? Nope, nope. Don't want to know. I need to buy that for my sister. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I didn't need to hear that. I did not. Mm-hmm. Sorry. But yeah. Uh, PS4, they just have to get their shit together. Now, Xbox, on the other hand, they need to put more power into their exclusives and make sure that those exclusives that come out are good games. Damn. That's all they need to do. They've got the power behind their stuff. They've basically made their console like the family console as far as like media and entertainment is concerned. Yay. Now, if you want gameplay for the whole family, that's where the Switch comes in. That's why they're getting all the big bucks. But if you want like entertainment watch and shit, like a general kind of console, that's where the Xbox is. But a lot of people don't want that nowadays because now you've got your Roku's and your what have you and your little accessories that you can use to watch damn near whatever the hell you want on your TVs. Accessories. And Xbox is lose, starting to lose their main pulling point. So they need to put their focus back on what brought them into the game in the first place, and that's their games. So that's what those two ends need to do. But congrats to the Switch, by the way. It's They, they earned it. After the touch and go of the Wii U, they Touch really do. That's a nice way to put it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I touched myself to Bayonetta too, and then it went. So, yeah. Oh. Okay. Did he say I attached myself or I touched myself? Touched myself. Yes. Sounds like stuck in my head now. <laughs> now I'm hearing the Weird Al version. <laughs> Even better. Hmm. Yeah, that's my take. Moving on. You know, I just love when all of you, except those two people who shall not be named, get along with each other. But then I remember to myself, oh fuck, they're going to say something disturbing the more I lump them together. Duh. Are you talking to? That's a good question. Anyways. It better not be me. I'm not disturbing at all. You are very disturbing. 
You just are know. very, very good at hiding it. I'm not disturbing at all. Would you like... No, no, you wouldn't like that, but... I'm, I'm just going to say one word, or really one sentence. Scroll up. Anyways... Okay. Oh, you mean the cute little goat picture? Oh, no, so no, I'm talking about anyway. just go through our fucking long ass history of texting. Anyways, all right, same question, different person, and this time, let's see. Officer went. Pika went. I haven't went. Oh, okay, officer. Well, when the PS3 was struggling, Sony cried out, "Save us!" And Kojima said, let there be Metal Gear. And the PS3 was saved. But the PS4, I think it's going to be very similar. We're going to get, uh, you know, this new, they have to make a this release. really <laughs> weird-ass new game, which is certainly going to come out sooner than Kingdom Hearts 3 or that FF7 remake. Fuck you. So, well, tr yeah, it's probably going to be, like I said, about five years or so, but... Uh, Kiss my ass. <coughs> sorry, no. Not up for doing that sort of thing. But, yeah, so... Kojima is just going to step in, release a game, and it'll be fine. To be honest, okay, Nintendo might be ahead for a long while, but it's not like Sony's not going to make any profit yeah, okay, no, Nintendo was ahead in this cycle, like they were uh, when the Wii came out. Yeah, okay. Like the PlayStation like Store the literally the makes war. almost four billion before taxes a year. So yeah, exactly. It's, it's not like this is. Gonna, yeah, it's not like that. It's not like Nintendo being ahead for this console generation means the end of the war. It's eternal and ongoing until one of the companies. Or until all the companies either die out or, you know, whatever. So it doesn't really matter that Nintendo's ahead now. Good on them for releasing a good console and getting ahead this generation. It's always been called the console war, after all. <coughs> of course, it's not really a war. It's more of a competition. Uh, I would compare it to the likes of... Uh, the Olympics, maybe. It's <laughs> mostly honorable. Mostly honorable. That's hilarious. Because it's not like the companies are cheating each other over. I'm sorry. Have you met EA? Yes, but they're not. They're not involved in making the consoles. They're just involved in making shitty games. <laughs> they're filled with, uh, you know, all the DLC and microtransactions that completely ruin video games. What the fuck? Oh god, why? Hey, 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 it's my ringtone. Call me all tits. Hello? That was a good song. Hello. Okay. I'm Zach. I'm here to do a duck. Okay, da, da, da. I have to go let our f most chronic late person uh, in. So, uh, cop, you can continue discussing the answer to life's questions. But when you finish, hand it off to Crow and, you know, just stall till I get back. All right, so as I was saying, yeah, Nintendo's ahead for now, but will it last? Uh, hard to say, really. The Switch is still pretty early in the life cycle, so them being ahead now is not as meaningful as people are making it out to be. I hope it, you know, stays ahead, because, hey, it'll give uh, Sony and Microsoft more of a reason to make some better consoles. But, uh, at least, hopefully. I'm pretty sure Sony isn't going to so much make a better console as much as they're just going to release better game. Which, uh, in the end, it's a win-win for us gamers. Hopefully. I got a question. Um, so, so do you think the Switch sold so, sold so well because of the Wii U? No. What the fuck? No. no. The Wii U was awful. It was a failure. Nintendo admitted this. After a long time of it failing, they only then finally decided, okay, yeah. Yeah, it messed up. It was a failure. 
but it's not like it. I don't. I don't. It's not like the Switch was. I don't know, the right Wii U had bad games. There were some good ones, like uh, you know, <coughs> there was the Mario Maker, which basically allowed everyone to make their own insane Kaizo levels. As well as, uh, what are some of the other good games for the Wii U? Fuck. There's there was so few. Oh, wait. Wasn't uh, there a Zelda game that was Wii U exclusive? Hmm, I forget. Wind Waker? Uh, no, that was. Wind Waker HD was just a remake of a game from the back in the. No, no, I, I, days. I know that. I was just saying. But yeah. <coughs> so, I honestly don't think it matters that Nintendo's ahead. It honestly doesn't. Hey, they're doing good. Okay. They're at least a good console. Good to know. It combines, you know, their strongest aspect with a new home console. With, you know, hey, we're portable. So what am I going to do then? Oh, he totally bleached himself, but it was a chemical bleach. Oh, hey, it sounds like they're back. We are. But yeah, that's pretty much my say on it. Kojima is going to release this game and people are going to lose their shit over it. And it's probably going to do really well. If it doesn't, eh. It's not like Sony's not going to survive. They have other things they can do. Yeah, like making billions of dollars off the network store. Yeah, that too. <coughs> okay, so what happened to Crow? Now, uh, what, wait, what the fuck? She disappeared. Y'all didn't notice she left. Seriously? Nobody noticed she left. Hey, can y'all hear me? Oh, shit. Oh, kinda. Okay, uh, y'all didn't notice she left. Seriously? I heard her say something and then disappeared, but... I don't know, where, where the... It seems yeah. she's offline, so... I'll, I'll, give, I'll give her a text. Anyways, uh, since he's Possible late... Possible connection issue. Since he's uh. late... Mr. Mayfield! You wanna come over here so you can... Stop gawking at white women, and... No. Well, too bad. You're gonna have to stop gawking at white women at some point in time in your life. Well, I have one. Okay, that can double entendre. But bottom line is, uh... Or marry more. Different... <laughs> wow. Different person, same question. The Switch is the projected and soon-to-be king of all things as far as system sales go. Now, with that being said, it's even come to a point where the president of Sony is even recognized they about to get mollywhopped. So, my question to you is, what do you think they have to do, whatever your preferred favorite system is, to <laughs> dethrone the Switch? <sighs> Does this all have to do with the microtransactions again? No. No. It's just that the system is physically outselling and pays to outsell fucking uh, uh, X-Bone and Sony. What? You already know you don't keep up with these things, so I don't even know why you're surprised. Because I'm surprised about the Nintendo Switch. This, it came out, what, this year alone? And it's going that fast. Their projected sales growth is now expected to eclipse 100 million in before 2020. That's a lot. Sure, I don't know what... I don't know what Sony and Microsoft can do at this point. I got nothing, really. <laughs> well, neither do they. <laughs> Man, ain't nothing they can do. They can't make no more. I mean, they could make exclusives, but it's like, what's the point? They already tried it with Uncharted, and they already tried it with Halo. And look how well they did. Well doesn't help that those games kind of started, you know, on the nosedive downward in quality and all, you know? 
Is it possible that Kojima is going to make one? It's funny exclusive? you mentioned that. It's funny you mentioned that. What? That? I li- I just got done saying because that that's Kojima... exactly what happened with the PS3. They couldn't get people to stop shitting on it until Metal Gear Solid 4 came out. Mm. And it turned Sony everything said, out. save us. And Kojima said, let there be Metal Gear. And all was well. So Kojima's coming with another Metal Gear? No, he's, no, he's got Death something else. Stranding. It's called Death Stranding. And it, as playable characters, Guillermo del Toro and uh, Norman Reedus from The Walking Dead are in it. But the weird thing is, it's just that uh, the new trailer, which came out at the Game Awards, which came on last night, which you didn't watch, is oh, eight so. minutes long, and we still don't know what the game is about. So in typical Kojima fashion, it's literally gave us more questions than answers. And I'll that's let you not watch a bad it later. thing. It's really, really, what it's a what Bizarre. the fuck. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Babies, but unborn babies in jars, and one of them lives in Norman Reedus's mouth. For some reason, alien yes. Too. See, yeah. it looks kind of alien. Its eyes, unnatural. Motherfucker, it's a baby in a jar. Ain't a damn thing natural about it. Man, I don't even think. <sighs> See, Sony and Microsoft can't even really do anything at this point. They can't like. And negotiate with any other gaming company and be like, hey, want to make an exclusive game with us? Yeah, they Except have to buy. they totally could. No, they could, but success is not guaranteed. At best, what they can do is buy or pay someone to let them, you know, get their game exclusively instead of just having them go from scratch. Make Mega Man <clears throat> It's already happening. No, Mega Man 11. It's already happening. for PS4. That's not going to... Okay, that'd be funny, but it's not going to work. <laughs> Probably going to be multi-console, that one. Yeah, I figured that one. Ugh, I really got nothing. Sony and... The, the best thing for them to do at this point is just count their losses and just start from scratch. They're probably already going to make a new um, system probably by the year 2020 anyway. Let's just let's, let uh, Nintendo have this moment for now. Council cycles, they said, might not even be over. It might even be over, <laughs> so we're not sure. <laughs> hey. That's all I got. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. Oh fuck, robot voice. Ring. Um. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yep. Yep. You're saying something, Jess? Oh, um. Just let uh. Oh my God, I'm watching a live stream. They're even talking about Death Stranding. Interesting. Yeah, just let Nintendo have this moment. They're already reaching their, you know, goal in sales, so let's just have them yes, and to get have that moment. Okay. That's pretty much what I said, too. Yeah, like, I think no one realized it except for Sony and obviously Mr. Officer and me, but <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4 turned around to PS3 because everyone's like, this console is a big ass fucking waste of time. And nothing functions right except for ports of old shit. And actually, that didn't even function right. <laughs> then, oh hey, Metal Gear Solid 4, and now we're getting game. Just release decent game. It's almost as Not if hard. Common Sense died and came back when the PS3 came out. Every time I think about it, I'm just like... Kojima brought forth Common Sense. Even though his games are filled with you ridiculous right? insanity. You wanna sit? Mm, not yet. Okay, well, just I'm don't. Kind of like fired up. Okay, well, just don't fuck up the rug. Um. Okay, so, well, uh, I'm gonna close this out with the final question. So, uh, everybody, especially you, Pika, uh, be verbally prepared for this shit. All right. All right. So. We already talked about it. There's even a 20-minute breakdown I'm going to watch after I'm done here. 
It's promising. That's all I can say. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Listen to me. You have to understand something about Soul Calibur. Unfortunately, Soul Calibur uh, got into a serious relationship with Sega, and unfortunately, they caught the Ooh. Sonic roller coaster. And unfortunately, that venereal disease is not necessarily curable. <laughs> The only thing that happens is you can get medical treatments. So we don't actually know if Soul Calibur 6 is going to suck or not. They're just advertising it like it's not going to suck. Just like Shadow the Hedgehog, the game. Hmm. And Sonic 06. Uh. If you don't know how bad that game is, just Google good, it. Yeah, just Google it. It's Missing Walls. They, I never, I never played that. They I didn't let the voice actors finish recording lines, so some lines aren't even coherent. That's how that's how shit that game is. The instruction manual has moves that you're supposed to be able to do and show Sonic doing the moves that you don't even get in the game. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Oh yes, very much so. Alright. So I, I beat Sonic 06. Um, Why do you this, sound this proud? <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. You the, the game that was supposedly unbeatable. It's not unbeatable. Unplayable, it unplayable and unbeatable are two things. It was hard. He beat table. the game that destroyed the game grumps. <clears throat> anyway, you were saying, Zach? I was saying he should be ashamed of himself. Anyways, um, all right. So the final question is a, a purely simple one. Pick your favorite company and just tell me what do you think they need to make a sequel of and why? And I don't mean something that, you know, a guarantee thing like, oh, I can't wait for the next Mario game. I mean something like, oh, <laughs> that whole company forgot that shit happened or damn, they keep saying we're going to do something but ain't nobody heard shit in like 20 years. And no, technically you can't say Kingdom Hearts, but that be that's because it goes without saying. And I'm gonna go first this time. God damn it. Where the fuck is my Chrono Trigger 4? Give me my Chrono Trigger 4 or Skies of Arcadia 2. By the way, both games they already started on. But what? the licensing lapsed. They started a But Skies the licensing Arcadia lapsed, too. which means they didn't do shit with it, literally. Skies of Arcadia 2 even had concept artwork already, and they already said, you know what, we're going to put this on the Wii. But of course, mm. this is Sega we're talking about. Mm -hmm. and then a very special type of Sega. This is Sega post-2004. So you know what that means? Everything is going downhill. Even the untouchables. The shit that they can't fuck up? God damn it. Everything is going downhill. And t uh, p uh, post-2004 Sega. Even the shit that they can't fuck up? Oh, you know what? Let's just not give it a sequel. How long yeah. did Virtual Fighter 5 take versus Virtual Fighter 4? Yeah. Think about that. How long did it take? Okay, Virtual Fighter 4, Matt, you can uh, look this up for me. But if memory serves... <laughs> Still, y'all don't hear me? Y'all hear robot? I hear you. Okay. So it's just him. Someone tell him to, you know, um, disconnect and reconnect. Okay, but Matt, if you can look this up for me, I think from Virtual Fighter 4, the initial version to Virtual Fighter 5's first launch was about seven and a half years. Seven and a half years. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, obviously some shit there. Uh, wait, Virtual Fighter Four. It looks like arcade release two thousand one. Damn. And Virtual Fighter Five arcade release two thousand six. So five years. Okay, that's that's extremely long for a fighting game, especially since you know Sega's only got fucking one. Or at least one that they care about. Yep. Was Virtual Fire. The other one was Virtual On, but it's become more of a cult classic. 
but they're trying to revive them, but in the dumbest way possible. They basically turned them into Sailor Moon ish anime. I don't know uh, why they're doing that. Like, no one knows why they're doing it. The biggest, the leading factor is that they uh, think it's because of this weird robot mecha fusion of Sailor Moon characters and either Gundam or Virtual On that happened about 10 years ago. That's the best. That's the best explanation any of us have. Hey, uh, uh, Zeno, you can hear me now, right? See. Pika, you can hear me now, right? Yeah, you're you're here. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. Anyways, all right. So, I say those two. Mainly, Skies of Arcade 2, because they already got their foot in the fucking door. They keep making all these Valkyria Chronicles games and half the shit look like it came out of Skies of Arcadia and then the Skies of Arcadia characters are background characters in the fucking game. The fuck? Uh, don't remind me. Hey, I, 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 if it makes you feel any better, I'm, I'm not trying to cock tease on purpose. It's Sega's fault. And then in the case of Chrono Trigger 4, which, you know, they changed the final name of it every single game. So in this case, it would come after Chrono Cross, if you remember that. And before that, it was Chrono Trigger for you old, old schoolers. They oh, had geez. Chrono Breakers. But here's the problem. It was a case of wrong place, wrong time. They were starting on that game right when the merger with Enix happened, which means they were hurting for money because, you know, Square Pictures failed and bombed horribly. Thanks, the spirits within for that. <laughs> if you say so. But... What? That's what caused it. Oh, yeah. That is a singular thing that caused it. Yeah. Thinking arrogance. Like, it's not the movie. It was just arrogance. Anyways. Okay. So, here's the thing. They actually had the rights and licensing. But because of this money flub up, they was pretty much holding off everything except for big titles that they knew would be money makers or instant quick cash outs because, well, you know, even though they changed uh, the company, it wasn't so much anybody got removed as it was as just they added people to the board. They even stated when the company first merged out, most of the original shareholders or board members of Square Soft stayed on. So all of a sudden it just got pushed on the back burner. And now on Twitter about three months ago, the creator of Chrono Trigger Tease that, hey, I got a new project in the works. Look under your seats. That type of shit. But the problem uh, is that he forgot what he's famous for. Chrono goddamn trigger. So a lot of people don't even really know if he's even making a Chrono Trigger or a Chrono 4 in general. He could just have gotten the ability to make a new game, period. Same with the dude who makes Devil May Cry. See, yeah, he made Devil May Cry, but that wasn't the only thing he's ever done. He's also done fucking Power Stone, okay? He didn't just wake up out of nowhere and start working for Capcom. Cut out. But have I cut back in? There you go. Okay. He, he made more than just Devil May Cry. He also fucking made Power Stone. He ain't no spring chicken. Sam, the dude who makes Chrono Trigger games. He said he got a new project. We don't know if it's Chrono or anything. That's why those are my two. Now, Pika, what is your game or multiple games that, hey, hurry up and have a fucking sequel? And no, it can't be something that you know is already going to get a sequel. Konami needs to make another Rumble Roses game. You know, <clears throat> at, at some point in time, it's going to go from funny to just being disturbing. I just want to point that out. Mm -hmm. Rumble. We're I'm at, just saying we're at that age dude. where it's it's leaning in one direction. That's all I'm saying, bro. Not judging, just letting you know. Rumble, Rumble. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 just saying. I I don't believe they added like any characters between the first and second Rumble Roses besides the whole create your character thing, which is complete ass. <laughs> so it is. They they need to make a third one. Just to, you know, redeem themselves and also kind of cash in on this whole 
women's revolution thing that's going on in the mainstream wrestling, aka WWE, right now. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are they doing in WWE? Well, you got the whole. Well, women's wrestling has gotten a whole lot better because number one, they stopped calling themselves divas, so that's nice. And number two, the the actual um, content, the meat and guts of the wrestling itself from the women has gotten a whole lot better. Oh, oh one, one more thing. I'm, I am actually mm-hmm. kind of excited about this one. Ronda Rousey mm-hmm. is on the verge of being a WWE uh, wrestler. So. Oh, that would be delicious. Interesting choice of words. Oh, yeah, I, I like that. that one. Ronda Rousey, WWE. Re- mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah, because that's she got fucked yeah, after her yeah. last fight. I would not want to go back and get penetrated like that again. Okay. Yeah. Again with the phrasing. Find its peak of Metsu. Prizes you. Uh, most of the time, no. I mean, she back. took so many damn fists, she would make porn stars jealous. Well, see, that type of shit, you know, if he'd said that like a year or two ago, that might catch me off guard. But that one, nah. Mm. But, but it's the truth. She she got she got punched a lot in her last fight. A well, lot. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. I, I can't speak for her, but she was stronger and faster. But let me tell you what happened, or at least what I think happened. Remember, this is the first time she experienced two things in a ring. Fear and also defeat. And it was the same person that instilled both into her. I think her brain shut down and went into the instinctual, innate fear mode. Because if you notice, now, I didn't watch it because I felt bad. But she did less, put in less, less effort in the second fight. Where she's stronger and faster than she did the first. She drew. She uh, it's almost. She did less than half attempts at hitting her in the second fight than she did the first. And her face was so beat red, not from embarrassment, from dents. She was scared of that girl. Period. But the problem was is that I don't think she learned how to overcome or fight it. Because she let society beat her down. Because we know how this shit goes with fighters and people, and especially the ones that people love to gamble on. Oh. If you win, they love you. You're the shit. They praise you like the shit shines out your ass. You lose a fight. Unless you're Mayweather. Nobody fucking likes him. Well, no, except for rich people. Like, literally rich people. Because mm-hmm. he keeps making them richer by cheating. Oh, he's mm-hmm. fucking cock, too. Fucking like, don't get me ass. wrong. I do not respect Manny Pacquiao as an adult for the statements he's made about the homosexual Damn. and bisexual community. But at the end of the day, yeah, Mayweather, that match was fucking rigged and cheated. Like, I, they oh, showed the scorecard. The referees even said Pacquiao wins. And somehow they go, Mayfield wins. Like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, he just fucking hugged his way out of it and kept running away. Oh, yes, the Mayfield format of winning. Fucking hate him. God, I hate him. I hey, if it, makes you feel, if it makes you feel any better, it takes him about five minutes to read a ten-word sentence. Not shocked. I, I'm not joking. I know. He's fucking... That guy's got to be brain damaged. I'm just waiting for him to kill somebody. Maybe he just said my last name, right? So, oh, shit, Mayfield. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mayweather. Yeah, I keep, I'm sitting next to... Uh, I didn't know that was his last name either. I just, I knew what you meant. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I, it's, And this is before I met you, but I've actually been calling Mayweather Mayfield for some time. Uh, oh, why? Because I had a friend who looked like Mayweather, but his last name was Mayfield. And, yeah. But it also doesn't help that your last name is Mayfield. What is this stupid shit? <laughs> She's trying to play Destiny while she talks to us. Mm. Okay. There it is. God bless her soul. God bless her soul. Okay, so... I mean, shit, the game's already fucking paid for. I'm not gonna not play it. God bless your soul. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. It's like, you know what else she could have played? She could have played Horizon Zero Dawn. She could have played Icy, but no. No. And she had the gall to tell me thank you, like a motherfucker. All right, so, yeah, uh, Pika. Um... (laughs) 
So that's just that's an interesting choice. Unfortunately, though, we both know why you said that, but we're not going to get into that because, well, I'm pretty sure it'd be satirical, but we'd be here all day. Mm. Okay, am I a robot to everybody, or is it just some of y'all? No, now you're back to normal. There we go. Son of a bitch. I was just saying I commend Pika on that interesting choice of games, not to mention, well, we all know why you said it, but it's still an interesting choice. Um, All right, all right. Zeno, you're going next. Dogs. Okay, okay. So I have two. Well, I know you, you said... You, Do not um, mention Kingdom Hearts. I wasn't going to mention Kingdom Hearts, all right? I actually Bullshit. had like legitimate answer this time. Bullshit. I was going to say they have Shinmu, they had Shinmu 3 coming out. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you know, uh, it's a game called Evolution, The World of Sacred Devices. Oh. Um, Wait, wait. I, was it for the GameCube and the Dreamcast? Yeah. Oh, no. They, yeah. they, it did get a sequel. It was on the GameCube. No, 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 that that was like put together. It was the first and second one. Oh, uh, you want a three? Yeah, like a three. Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. Well, uh, a little bit of backstory on that one. Um, you're probably never gonna see it, but not for the reason you think. Here's the weird thing: that game, or those two, that game franchise, if technically you can call it that, was actually one of the only times there was a create your own game contest from a major publisher or a major game development studio. So, that game happened because a guy won a contest. So, that guy was never actually a part... Yes, go look it up. So, that guy was never actually a part of the company. So, if it happens, you might not see any of the characters come back. And it might not even be called Evolution, so it really wouldn't be a sequel. It would be a spiritual successor. You know, that whole line of bullshit. Oh, dude. I have another game now that you say that. You know Radiata Story? Radiata Story. Oh, what else? Uh, that was wait, a isn't one. that getting a sequel? I, but, wait, no, 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 wait. It it had a sequel, but it wasn't like the first one. No, like I mean like now, now. Isn't it getting a sequel now, now? Oh, or, I don't I don't or, know. Or is it getting a remaster? You should look that up. I think there, there's... Oh, a... it's, it's... You're talking about the remastered version of the DS version. Oh, okay. So it is... Oh, all right. I guess maybe. I thought I heard there's about it recently. There's no sequel to it. That would be a good one to get a sequel, yeah. Okay, that's that's good. And that, that's all I got, though. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. All right, Raven. Uh, you know, I've been trying to think about it for the life of me. I, I, I don't fucking know. Okay, okay. You are around the same age as me. There is nowhere in hell you can't think of one game or one franchise that you really, really liked that went dormant in your lifetime. You cannot tell me that. <laughs> the problem is that I love the Guilty Gear series when they fucking annihilated it and turned it into shit. So every every damn game that keeps coming out, I'm like, I don't know what the hell they were thinking. I can tell you I what they were thinking. I want them to like start over. <laughs> well, that that's... Go from X2 and start over. <laughs> Look, here's what pisses me off the most. Why are the old characters DLC? I, yeah, I know. And I then here's the part that pisses me off. They're low tier online. Okay, so Jam, Dizzy, mm-hmm. and Biking. Mm-hmm. All three of them have been in, no, yeah, all three of them have been in every game. Since the beginning, yes. And here's the thing, Biking's a bit different though. Biking was the original secret character of Guilty Gear. Yeah, she was the original secret character. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to get all of them, like about 12 bucks. They've been in every game, but now they're 12 bucks. Oh, but wait, if you buy the new version, Guilty Gear XRD uh, Revelator version 2, you, you know how Japan does their you know, naming monikers mm-hmm. for fighting games. Mm-hmm. Everybody oh, want to get on that Street Fighter yeah. dick. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it comes standard with biking and you only got to pay forty dollars but guess what you still got to pay for the other dlc characters which aren't which are original characters so i get the new version of the game but you still want me to get the dlc fucking characters from the previous game but oh no you get biking and a ninja that no one gave a shit about for free (sighs) if it makes you feel any better though uh the new guilty gear if you can call it that Damn good fu- uh, game. It's got the most detailed tutorial literally in the history of fighting games. 
And also, it even gives you strategy against each individual character versus your character you like to play. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking you're talking about Dragon Ball Z, but no. You're talking about that Guilty. one. Well, no, it's someone after to see. Oh. It, it looks like that because I did the upgrade patch thing. So when I load the game, it looks like this, but the minute I turn it on, it'll switch over to the other version. Oh, yeah, I had Guilty Gear on my uh, system, and I'm loading it up. Anyways, okay. Mm -hmm. So here's the thing, though. That's that's not a bad answer. But do you have anything else? Fuck. Cut now. I like how right when I press the button, I can always hear her tell me he's cutting out, and then I know I'm back in, but I still hit it anyway. Well, I was just gonna <laughs> say outside of. Guilty Gear, do you have anything else you'd like to see repair, revamped, fixed, blah, blah, blah? Uh, fuck. That is... I don't know. To be honest with God, I just don't fucking know. See? Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll probably think of one later, but for the time being, I just have no idea. You know, I mean, I love all my old Sega games and still play them, but... At the moment, I mean. Sorry. No problem. Uh, who hasn't gone? <laughs> I haven't gone. Okay, mm -hmm. well, try not to die. Mayfield. I'll be fine. Try not to die. And, uh, yeah, you go. Bad for you. Well, See? I've got okay. a couple of them here, actually. Uh huh. Go ahead. Starting. With, uh, yeah, where the fuck is Skies of Arcadia 2, you assholes? Sega, get your shit together and release the Skies of Arcadia 2 already. You mad, Fucking bro? Fucking hell. Didn't you mention that? Yeah, but yes, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm not the only one waiting. Fucking now, color. next one. Literally glowing. I want a sequel to the 2005 Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh shit, he went there. I hope everybody's sitting <laughs> down. Because he yeah. let off a grenade. Fuck you, EA. You met you 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 fucked that game up so bad that I don't think there's any coming back. There's nothing that's gonna fix it. I think the ambulance even heard you giving out burns. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> there's an ambulance driving by in the background. Mm -hmm. Yep. I heard it. But yeah. You Fucked it up, EA. Oh, yes, food. Hang on. I want to see the 2005 Battlefront 2, not the 2017 one. Let's see here. And the last but not least. She weird as fuck, though. Hey, yeah, because EA doesn't get enough, uh, he's gotten, I think, enough hate for today. Hey, hey, Konami. Yeah, remember the Sukoden? Sweet oh, I'm sure you don't. Sweet I'm sure you don't remember. There we go. But I remember Are it. you trying to say Suikoden? Shut up. <laughs> so, Konami? Yeah. Yeah, why'd you let that game die? Why did you kill you it? the details, people. But then they go and do this cheap ass 3D. You can see the trees in even 3D. I want a Suikoden 6. I want it. I want it now. But I know you're never going to give it, Konami, because fuck it's Konami. My money and I want it now. <laughs> anyway, mm. that's my say on all this. Mm. Fair enough. So, let me see. All right, Dre, in your loudest voice, bow! Uh, feel free to let us know what you think needs to get a sequel or everyone forgot has needs a sequel. Man, I, I can name about ten already, but... Oh, damn. Oh, my goodness. All right. Wow, I need to stand up for this. All right. Oh, hey Sega, how's it going? Um, quick question: Whatever happened to the whole Shinobi series? Damn. Um, Ooh, good one. Um. Oh wait, hold on. Fun fact: for those of you that watch Heroes, no, 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 you're good. For those of you that watch Thanks. Heroes, uh, the Asian guy, he's actually in the Japanese. Tra uh, commercial for that game. He's a shinobi as Baku. 
Continue. Uh, well, being out, that's, you know, a really good fun fact. For the love of God, Sega, well, what, what are you going to do with Shinobi? I mean, really. What are you going to do with Shinobi? I mean, how long has it been since we've seen a Shinobi game? Uh, let's see, 2004. Let's see, and it was 5, 6, 7, too, right? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Literally 14 years. Woo! Wow, and you do nothing with this franchise. And yet everyone that says put... Ninja Gaiden is the shit. <sighs> it's okay. I like it. It's okay. It's just but not Shinobi. It's not Shinobi. And um, quick side note: Who were in charge of um, Samurai Showdown again? Was it SNK? Yes. Okay, so SNK, you did a good job with um, King of Fighters fourteen. Yeah, King of Fighters fourteen. Good job. Good job with it. I like it. I like it a lot. But could you just do us a favor and bring Samurai Showdown? Into the new generation. Do, 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 can, can, can you do that? Can, can, can you do that for us? Oh, not to mention, um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think someone said mentioned uh, Shemru 3. Um, yeah. Okay. The game that Kickstarter built. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I know I'm missing one. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Damn. Is Didn't see possible? that coming. I mean, don't get Actually, me wrong. Actually, now. Now it is. Don't get me wrong. Um, Marvel Heroes is good. It's dead, though. But, mm -hmm. last time I checked, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 was good. Oh. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. I mean, like, um, but Marvel, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are mad at that. I'm still not I sure mean, why. Are you kidding me? It was... It could have been better. We don't want to go up against Nick Fury and like uh, what the hell was he again? Like a scroll or something? Yeah. Like we don't want we don't want that. We want to go up against like Doctor Doom again or or, Th or even Thanos. I mean, come on. My God, you could have made Ultimate Alliance two. In the Civil War, but also either make it like, I don't know, the Infinity War or something else. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Oh, one more thing. True Crime. Damn. Oh, I yes, sir. Actually, yes, they sir. did, but it, it sucked. They did, but it sucked. Sleeping what? Dogs? Yeah. Wait. Oh, come on. Yeah. That, that don't count. No, actually it does. See, Sleeping it Dogs... Sleeping count. Dogs wasn't no. terrible. No, let me, let me tell you why it counts. Because Sleeping Dogs is the actual game, but they just changed the name. Remember what I said about Spiritual Successors? Same shit. It's actually True Crimes 4. It's just a name change. It was... That doesn't even count, though. Let I me mean, look. There was True Crime, which was good. True Crime, New York City. Even better. I'm sorry, it was. Oh, no, it was. It was just, you know, it didn't feel But, as see, funny. here's the thing. When you don't have, like, I don't know, True Crime Chicago or, I don't know, just another True Crime, but, like, I don't know, back in either L.A. or New York or whatever. Surprisingly like, good soundtrack, too. Yeah, but then it's like, so, <laughs> so you just give up on the franchise? You make two and then just, just... So you make two of the True Crime games both were fairly successful but you don't continue wow okay and uh let, let's let's not get started with the teenage mutant ninja turtles games oh yeah because we, they got sequels they were just nasty <laughs> mutant sin man hadn't had so much potential promise had so much promise and look what it turned out to be like if, if they just made one patch one patch, they could fix that whole fucking game. But yeah, that's all I got. Okay. Wait, wait, I got another one. Tenchu. Oh, yes, Tenchu. Oh, yeah, oh, there's a rumor God. that apparently From Software has the rights to Tenchu. I'm not oh. sure if that's true or not. Okay. Someone look into that. 
Oh, but that's all I got. Yeah. Okay. Well. Ah. Uh, what? Well, okay. What about um, Oni Mishu? Oni Oni Musha. Oni Musha. Yeah, that that game too. Yeah. They, to if memory serves, they started something at the beginning of the PS3. Uh, we got a concept trailer of like a guy in a trench coat dodging a bunch of arrows, and that was it. Like I even remember the the trailer, but I don't know if it was for Oni Musha. Not I just know the game never came out. But you know that's a, you you're right. That's that's a good example right there. So, all right. With that being said, this wraps up another episode of Token Games Podcast. I will see you guys either next year or for our.